S rank Hella is supposed to be the very first rate up unit coming to version 1.1 of Aether Gazer. And I say supposed to be because we don't know if Yostar is making any adjustments to the schedule, if they're going to be moving this character somewhere in the future, if they're going to be removing the character entirely. We don't know. I mean, I highly doubt that they're removing the character, but you get my point. Uh, we don't know what Yostar is planning to do with some of these characters. So I thought I'd leave that little asterisk there. Now, just like version 1.0, Version 1.1 will be following the same um, style of character releases, meaning that just like S rank Tsukiyomi and then S rank Osiris, we'll be getting S rank Hela and then S rank Hera. Now, this is S rank Hera, and if you look on any tier list, a lot of people are saying that she's a top tier unit, so I'm gonna just go by what they're saying because, you know, that's not why I pull my characters. I simply just really want this character because of the way she looks absolutely stunning. And I've used her in the CN version of the game, so I know that she's an actual fun unit to play. Now, before we even begin, I have to say the only reason I'm even able to use this unit is because of the Guild Raid feature that is introduced later in Aether Gazer. This account doesn't even have S rank Hella. I'm just able to use her because my guild mates have her. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about her kit. Her basic attack is just these guns that come out of her coffin and fire at close by enemies. Now her skill one on the other hand, fires that those same guns at a rapid pace. Her skill two turns her coffin into a cannon and generates a nice AOE, but it is a small AOE. It doesn't attack a massive group of enemies that are within range of each other. Now, I think the only true useful attack is her cannon which is skill three using her divine grace she's able to generate this cannon and fire at enemies close by now as you can see every fire uses divine grace which means that you want to start skill three after you've generated a full bar of divine grace now the reason why I'm not going to be pulling for her is simply because she's just a boring character to use. Now, if you find this fun, then by all means, this might be a character that you're interested in. But I simply just don't want to waste my resources and my gotcha currency on someone that I feel is just going to be thrown into AI and never used uh, beyond that. Now, her ultimate summons a bunch of cannons and kills the enemies within range well i say kills but it does damage to enemies within range it's okay she's an okay character but i just simply don't see her as a fun character to play that is my sole reason for not wanting to pull for her beyond s rank hera coming shortly after her And that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and comment with your thoughts and opinions as well. Subscribe for more Aether Gazer content. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay chaotic. Peace out, everyone.